I think we can all easily agree that Beyond Skyrim Bruma is one of the most groundbreaking mods to have ever been released for Skyrim in terms of its imaginative quests, breathtaking soundtrack and beautiful landscape. But the team behind Beyond Skyrim Bruma is just one of many working towards introducing the entirety of Tamriel in the time of Skyrim for the player to visit. Since the trailer for Beyond Skyrim Roskvir, Voices of the Deep, has just been released, it is pretty safe to assume that the next instalment of Beyond Skyrim will take us to the wintry island of Roskvir. Now very luckily I've had the opportunity to talk to the lead writer behind Roskvir and so I'm going to be going through all the major details to do with the upcoming mod, including information about the quests, the environment, the meaning behind the title Voices of the Deep and in general the lore behind the mod and Roskvir. To begin with, what is Roskvir? It's a fairly small island situated to the north of Skyrim between Skyrim and Atmora in the Sea of Ghosts. As far as the lore goes, all we know officially is that in the third era the island was conquered by the Emperor Uriel Septim V and made a part of the Empire. However, many years later the City of Solitude would later attempt to annex Roskvir for itself but the mod takes the line that this attempted annexation failed and instead the Empire supposedly retains its control, however weak it may be, over the island through the East Empire Company. In a similar way to how the player can reach Solstheim, the player will be able to reach Roskvir by boat from one of Skyrim's ports. The ship will land at the East Empire Company's only settlement on the island, Crane Shore, which is actually a wealthy mithril mining colony. I've been told that a major part of the mod will be to do with the political situation of the island. Within the mod, the player will have to mediate and choose between various factions vying for control of Roskvir. There are two major factions that we know about so far, the first being the Empire, which is represented by the East Empire Trading Company, and the second being the mystical Bear Cult, a conservative, nationalist cult which dominates the majority of the island. And so, essentially, a major portion of the mod is to do with the power struggle between these two factions. We know a fair amount already about the East Empire Company, of course, however the Bear Cult is another matter. Apparently Currently, the Bear Cult controls the island's capital, Fulthul, along with most of the rest of the island. I've been told that comparisons can be drawn between the Forsworn and the Bear Cult in the regard that both factions are passionate about controlling and maintaining control over what they claim is their homeland, and that they will both stop at nothing to achieve their goal. Equally, the East Empire Company is just as ruthless as the Bear Cult in a sense, seeing as the company wants dominion over all the island, so it can exploit the vast mithril deposits present there. Obviously, these clashing interests guarantee some form of conflict. Whilst the political landscape of the island is a fundamental part of the mod, it is not fully integral to the mod's main story, and yes, note, there is actually going to be a main story for Roskvir, unlike Bruma. Apparently, the main story links directly with the mod's title, Roskvir Voices of the Deep. The title itself sounds quite ominous and sinister, and this sinister feel will definitely be reflected in the main story. The main story, although incorporating and at first perhaps revolving around the various political factions, becomes much more dark and momentous when otherworldly forces from the deep of the islands start signalling that a sort of apocalyptic event is coming for Roskvir. It seems the main story will revolve around these otherworldly voices of the deep and the message that they bring about an impending doom. Of course, alongside the main quest, there will be a host of other minor side quests that the player can undertake. As a rough estimate, the lead writer for the mod mentioned that Roskvir will be roughly the same size as, if not bigger, than Bruma, so about 1.5 times the size of Solstheim. If this is the case, and I think we can safely assume that there will be a wide, wide range of side quests to take part in. To end the video, I'm going to mention the date of release. When will Beyond Sky and Roskvir be released for us all to play? The short answer is that we don't know, however a rough estimate would assume that the mod will be released within the next two years, maybe even sometime next year. But honestly, who knows? Thanks for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, then feel free to check out the vast selection of Elder Scrolls lore and theory videos I have available, if you feel like it. If you want to interact with me directly, then feel free to join my Discord server, the link is in the description.